Wilson, as you've shared with us, here in Camp Rouge, the homes have no lights, no electricity, so many children get burned and many homes go on fire because they're using kerosene. The last few days we've been uh, installing solar panels and uh, LED lights in homes that are uh, without electricity up in um, Cap Rouge. The idea is that we put a solar panel on the roof like this. This charges from the sun into this 12 volt battery. It will all be hooked up. And then it comes from the 12 volt battery up through various connections to the light. Well, what we're trying to do here is center two lights over the table to take the place of the old kerosene lamp. Brent was to get the wires to the switch and to the lights, and then there's another crew will come behind us and they do the hookup for the switch and the solar panel. Can you give me a commentary on what you're doing, Bill? Put the wire in. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what's happened in this house is the ceiling is too high and they won't get the proper lighting from the LEDs. So the gentleman that lives here very quickly made up a wooden chandelier. This is what they call a voltage regulator which drops the voltage down from the panel down to a workable voltage for the lights. So all we're doing is taking it from the solar panel here through the voltage regulator and then making connections here which will run to the light but then also to the battery so whenever the lights are off the power will charge the battery so that at night time the uh, lights can be used off of battery power rather than the solar panel. You'll see it comes in from the panel. Battery. Mm -hmm. Battery will last five years. One of the first homes we visited uh, to put in our solar panels and to set up our lights uh, was Elaine's home. This house, we're putting two lights here mm -hmm. and one in the bedroom. Uh, and on a normal evening, she would light her candle and she would do uh, her work, her preparations for the next day. It's the first time I've been able to work in Cap Rouge from 8 o'clock at night to 1 in the morning, thanks to the lights. The glow from her face was unbelievable. My job was to uh, help install with the uh, solar panels in that, but also um, training two of the local uh, guys down here. You could go up there and make your connections and then find your positive one here and connect it to the yellow. The positive goes to the yellow, to the red, All right. and then you'll be perfect. They in turn might be able to train some more guys in order to uh, have lights all over Cap Rouge. They were developed at the University of Calgary. Okay. The systems we're using just now are about $200 Canadian for each home. And my church bought enough for a hundred homes. One of the homes that we installed lights in was for a grandmother. She was on her own. Her little home was about eight feet by eight feet. Very clean, very neat. She had a small little lamp, coal or kerosene lamp for light. We installed two LED lighting units uh, with a switch on the wall. She had no clue how to operate the switch. And she had to be instructed. And so we showed her and she smiled so big and so strong. <laughs> 